Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel, Miss Adventures with Mixed Media. And I get to finally use my stiff area paper. I'm so excited. All right, I'm going to make, where's my inspiration? No meaning in my life. No inspiration. Here we go. I think I want to make a journal this size. Um, she wanted a smaller one. It's my sister-in-law's birthday. She saw her sisters that I just made. <laughs> and, you know, and her nieces. Our niece. You know, my and, shoes aren't even probably because I got a little bit of cement on Oh, uh, okay. Maybe you can chip the cement off your shoes. I did tell him I was recording. Um, so the one that I made Rachel was uh, seven by four and a half. And if I do it this size, it will be about three and a quarter by six. So I, th I might end up making it like six and a half by um, three and a half. So, so like this would be the size of the pages more. But I'm going to basically use this as my template. And I'm going to be using stamp period paper. And some of this is going to be on the inside cover. And I found a really great... Actually, I didn't even know I got it. Alright, I can't find the pad that it came in, of course, because I just had it. Oh, here it is. I had like a stack of papers, had some resume papers and stuff like that. And in it which I thought for some reason because I saw the yellow cover I thought it was tracing paper but then I got it home and it's canvas paper so I'm very excited 9 by 12 and so let's see I probably if I do my canvas because I want it to wrap around some and I I'm thinking I want the natural, I don't know, it is primed on one side. I just haven't decided how the best way. So, 12. So, I was thinking I do need a spine regardless. I guess I'll paint on the gesso side since I'm doing it different than my natural one. And then this will be on the inside. So, that will be perfect that way and then... But I say that was six, so I'm gonna make it seven, and that gives me some room to play this way. And then I just need to decide which way, it, which I think I want this to show. I think I want the bottom part here. So I'm gonna cut that seven inches. I feel like I just cut my finger, but I guess not. Oh, I guess he's driving down to. Pokemon. Never quite sure if it's going to walk down or drive down. It's only a 10% chance of rain. But. All right, I want to flip this because this is the part I want to keep. So I want to measure it. Seven inches. The other journal I made was seven inches tall. This one may end up being a little bit shorter. Once it's all said and done and I get it sewn together, if I trim it down a little bit. Or the pages will be anyway. And then... Alright, so my center will be six inches. I want to have enough room to put stuff in, so I think I'm going to do an inch spine. And then, so that's at five and a half and six and a half. Now I can't see where the, okay. Then I want to go one, two, three and a half at least. Where's my, what was this one? The other one, the pages were three and a half. This is a little over three. So yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and make this one four. So let me count that again. One, two, three, four. And I'll have, uh, let's see. And it won't come over. I should have done that different. All right, let's do this differently. Uh, this is this end. So I want to go one, two, three, four. And I won't have a pocket on the front. I'm going to go ahead and fold that over so I don't forget where that fold is. And then 
uh -oh, let me not. And then one inch for the spine. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure I have that at one inch. Is that an inch? Yes. And I'm gonna mark these on the back so I don't get confused when I put it together. Spine. Just don't want to forget what we're doing here. Okay, so this and then this, which means from here, start at the eight. I want to come to the four. I know I'm not doing mountains to flowers or whatever. And then I want to do an inch. Maybe three quarters, let's see. If that is, I don't necessarily, have, I think three quarters of an inch will work. I don't think I have to have it as big as the spine for the closure. I just want to have it, actually, I want it to be a, what's the word? So basically every quarter inch That way, it's kind of a bendable, you know, kind of like a file folder where you can, sometimes it'll be there, like that. So, this will be about the size of it, I guess. Give or take. Alright, I'm sure to use as inspiration for the cover. Um, I'm not doing as much as the name, but I'm more, doing more of the aquas and... Blues. I had some pinks. Where are my papers? I printed out some papers to you. Do you think that they're like right in front of me? Alright. So let's pick out our papers real quick. These are not them. That is not the right pink. There, there they are. There they are. Um, I don't think this one's gonna, well, I don't know. Let me see. It's got a little bit more red in it here. I don't know that that one's gonna work. I mean, the back side will work. And then I need to cut the, I did, went ahead and did these full size. Last time when I did these, I did do them the right size but this time I figured well, I don't want to waste my my printable areas because I pay per I'm not gonna use this one paid I mean I, I get like 300 pages a month so this one's got too much orange in it too unless I use so it's basically gonna be seven by seven so then it would be still yeah, that's got a bit of orange. Plus, that one got messed up on the back. I mean, I could still use that for cost. Oh, and I printed on resume paper. I love the feel of it. All right, those two. The last ones that were printed. Where's the first ones that were printed? Annoying. Annoying. What is annoying? Oh, this was it. Okay. Oh, and just for fun, my ink was running out, so I went ahead and um, printed... Some of Tracy and Tina's labels while it was running out so I've got like that you know no yellow got that purple hue but that also gives me I don't know that'd be fun. It's like a more of a teal label so I might be able to use some of those in here all right does this have orange in it as well where are we going with this first why did I pick up a whole stack of paper what did I do where am I that's my life people that is a little on the red side. This is perfect. So I may print out some more of that. Plus, if it goes this way, you could use it as lines. Although, you know, I like it the right way. See, that's perfect. But this still has a little bit of red in it. Okay. This works, I think. 
And then this has this on the back. So I think that paper will work. And I won't lose, you know, whatever size I cut it, it also is good. Now this one has a little bit of the, it's close. And that's, I think this one will work too. And it's got this, well the green's not quite the same. It's a little brighter green. But I think there was some brighter green. Where's somebody burning something somewhere? Although it doesn't go with that green at all. So is that green? Many different greens. So I already have two different greens. Let me see. I know. It's okay. They're not all on the same page. You can have different greens. I'm aware. Alright, so this page works. And I think this page works because I can cut out either down here or up here. So if I don't want it as purple, I can cut it out up there. And then I can maybe make a tag out of that. And I can always make it a little bit shorter too if I don't want to lose any of that flower and you can make a tag out of it. And I love that green. I might come out another one of those. It's a little bit brighter than the Oasis, but what I'm using pretty close to this green, which I'll have on the cover. Oh look, I think that's like all the colors right there. It's like a lighter version of that. That works for me. Okay, keeping that one. And I think this one works nicely too. It's a little bit brighter here. And it's got this green here. What was this green? So oh, and then we have that on the back. The chip paint. Loving that. I just wanted to bring in some other colors and pages that are, that are, you know, be, can be used. And then these I got on Andrea, they're probably on Andrea's and Tracy's Facebook pages. And then my printer kept messing up, but I will use these for um, tags and stuff. I might even use them that. More fun colors, that won't work in here. Yeah, see if these are what the labels were supposed to. My printer messed up again, too, is what happened in there. Although, that would still be kind of cool on something. So I ain't mad. All right, not using those. All right. Picking out some colors. Picking out some pages. I do have, whoops, a lot of color. Now, I need to figure out if... The foot, I don't know which one this is. This one actually might be avocado dyed with a little bit of food coloring or as a darker avocado dye. Those are two things. Nope, that's good. Well, I said you could finish it, but if you save some for your brother, I know he'll appreciate that. I think that'll be a fun one. This one can also work because it's got this little doily thing on it, it's just light. I'm probably not going to use, oh my, I'm probably not going to use this one. I probably won't use the purple one, but wouldn't that be perfect for that? Should I use, how long do I use this up? At least a minute, maybe a minute and a half. Okay. We have some okay, tea dyed paper. I'm going to save that when I do quickly. I think that's what these were pulled for. This has some lines. I don't know if she likes grungy or not, but... I'm going to put a couple grungy, okay, one more pink, I think that's good on the pink, unless I find like a really interesting, what was that one, purple, so you have some purple. and ooh, I love this green, okay, and then this green is pretty perfect, that is, I think I make some tea dye and some different greens and blues, because the blue you need to cancel out the... I think that will work too. We need the blue to cancel out the orange in the tea. Whoops. That was a little probably too grungy for her. Okay. Is that? Yeah, I think that'll work. Maybe mm -hmm. take out the purple ones because we're not going to do the lilacs. I had all these pages together to try to get some book pages together for. Where's my other green one? I want to make sure that they're not too far off from each other. That one might be fun. That one's a little bit darker. 
So we got some blue, green, and pink. Three blue, three pink, and three green. And one, two whitish. Where's the other with the, yeah, one, two, and then maybe, it's a little brighter than that though. Can we have a blue one like this? Yeah, see this one has food coloring in it, although that is fun. Maybe instead of a third whitish one, I'll use that brighter pink one. That has some blue in it too. Alright. What's your opinion, people? The avocado pink for the food coloring pink. I really like how these have some blue on them like it does here. And the pinks are good. I'm going to go get rid of that grungy one for sure. Let's see, do I have any more like this? And I like these, but they're a little too bright. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Isn't that nice? Is that... It's alright. I'm going to do that one instead of that one. I'm going to do that one. Alright, so I have three pink, three green, three blue, two of the... These are nice too. I was trying to get a burgundy. Alright, I don't want to do too, too much pink. Alright, that's kind of a yellow. yellow in this one. I wonder if I should do any tea dye. I might do some tea dye. Oh, I'm going to cut that off so that will work. So one, two, three tea dye. I think I'll do three signatures. I did four in the other one. And I think she said that was a little, um, a little much. So. Let's see. This one has some blue and some green. And yeah, that one. I think that one will be fun and work. And these are cardstock, which I'll use for tags. And I've got some colorful cardstock somewhere I can use for tags. And I also have um, paint, um, mixed media and watercolor paper, which is good and thick for, for the uh, tags. So this is where my color started going away. And I was just trying to figure out which pages I might like in here. We might use some of those somewhere. Alright, let me figure out which pages of these that I want to use. Oh, see, if I did do more of these, I could use that. These could work. I might be selfish and save that one for me. I'm gonna keep these pages with it. Probably about 30. There's at least a cup of pasta in there, right? Okay, and you know what? Are you gonna run today? No. Oh, that's right. You ran yesterday, so running today. With, right, that will go with the orangey. If I use. Yeah, let's, let's see. I thought about maybe doing the fairy for her, but no, that's not her style though on that side. So I might stick with the butterfly ones. Alright, I just need to remember that this needs to make sure I cut it out that way. Fantasy mirrors desire imagination reshapes it. So one has the lilacs in it, which I want to save for the lilacs. What's in the back of this one? I want to find my three signatures. I think this one might work for a signature. Because we're kind of going for those colors. And no matter which side I do, it'll be pretty. One. Other, just the other book. I don't know how 
how she feels about unicorns. Oh, nice, though. I might do the unicorn for her. It's got a fun spirit, although like barely fit on the page. I'll fold. I'll just make sure he does. Or something. I'll figure it out. Two. Stay. Where did the book go? Seriously, what? I just had it, didn't I? Alright, these are pages from the Wonderland. And I had the other one. We have this cut off. Oh, I was like, did I do the wrong one? But no, it's just that it shows those on the bottom or on the top or whatever. And I was like, ah, I cut the wrong one, but no. See, I can still use those as tags, which is nice. Because I cut off the bottom part, which is not going to show. Seriously, Nathan, where? All right. And, of course, I hit the wrong button. So when I tried to unpause it, and this was like, right. So this one is Stamperia Dream scrapbooking. So, which, and it does have some similar... Similary, let's see, for a pretty, no. I do want to add some pink to it. I love myself a polka dot, and that will add some pink. So maybe that one that adds a lot of pink, but it'll be on the inside. So I think I'll do that just first. So. Don't fall. Doesn't listen. So, and I may end up only doing two signatures. I have to see. I'm doing one inch. Is this one I just pulled out. Doing the one inch spine for my other for the other one I did one and three quarter inch spine I think so or one and a half inch but I did four signatures in that one. I will wait to cut those once I have my cover done. So don't need that right now. I wonder if. One of something. I might want to put something on the cover. Let's see. So let me keep this out. I will probably wait and cut this after I paint it, even though, although, I could do like a small pocket on the bottom, which would be a little bit less sewing. And then. I have to cut this paper down just a little bit. And then I'll have to do my thing for my pocket. So let's just do this for right now. Because anything I cut will be on this end. And I think I do want to go over a little bit, don't I? So, going over a little bit. And remembering that there's a these lines. So it'll be like this and like that. And I will just and and let's see this is, and it because it's primed and also I'm gonna paint it I can't unless I put it right up to the light <laughs> cannot see through it so that's positive. This so we cut So this is our front. 
and I want to and this is our spine I think it'll just help to know where these things are and this needs to come just a little bit so that when it does go down it will still so this one I should have done just a little bit longer than the four inches so that this would have room yeah so I think it will now just a tiny bit more the problem well it's kind of a problem maybe not so much a problem but once you start folding canvas it will start um breaking in some areas but since this one's primed it might not well when I say that I mean on my last one <laughs> all right so and these are my inks that I've already figured out but I'm going to turn this over so that if they get wet they don't end up on my canvas and I'm also going to put front spine back uh, uh, this is the flap, I guess we'll call it. That way, it just help me to remember as I'm painting. So if like, if I wanted to make it, like if I want more pink back here, but wanted this to go with this, then that's yeah. So I think I'm just going to do a little bit of a base, I think, of the, this is C, green C. And then I was thinking about using this at one point, but it's a little bit bright because that's dry. And then that is with the, yeah, I think the green sea is better. It's closer to the oasis. Ew! Ew! Yeah, I like that. All right. Um, a brush would be nice. I know I just had a million of them. So let's just grab a random brush. And we know I'm going to end up smooshing. So, hmm. So, yesterday was um. Today is so. So, I want. <laughs> I want it. I can say it without saying so first. I wanted to make a soft cover. Because I think that she'd like to be able to put it in her purse. So. Ugh. Anybody else have like certain words that just are terrible for them? That they just say a lot. I know some people say okay. A lot of people say um. We just can't help it, can we? doing in your lives right now I realize some of this isn't even gonna show is it I said show that time so basically there, there's the important bits let's see my yeah my 19 year old decided he wants to start gardening I guess he said, when people came over from England, they did lawns because they had lawns in England because it rains there a lot. And there's really not a lot of point to us having lawns here. So he wants to do something different in our yard. We don't have an HOA, so I said, go at it. Do what you want. So we'll see what he comes up with. And then suddenly he decided he wants to start running. So, again, so that means dealing with a... Uh, high and low blood sugars because either he's run some energy off and sugars just suddenly drop or he's exercised and his body releases glucagon to his muscles so he doesn't go down to like later so that's always fun 
Let me do this over here. I don't need you. And my other son, the older one, still very much into Pokemon. Nothing's changed there. All right. Oh man, this keeps happening. And I might want to use that color. So if it could stop happening, that'd be great. That's not the right cover for that. Somewhere here, I have some inks that are not it. And I don't dare pause again because of what happened last time. There should be a stack of inks that has a black bottom, basically. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it, but I'm going to put that there for now just to keep it from drying out until I can find it. It's not there. This one over here, not that one, not that one, yes. I have two inks that the covers don't stay on. I wish there was some way I could get a replacement on them because the covers come off and they get dried out and it's worthless to me. So, a little bit more, where'd it go? Here it is. I was just going to do a whole layer of this, wasn't I? Be faster if I did. Um, where's one of my, I don't know, one of my wide brushes, but now I need to do this before it. I think I was trying to get an idea of what I want to do with the rest, maybe. I don't know. I used to have a toy box that was somewhere between this color and a mint green. Or it probably was patina, is probably what the color was called. I mean, I could even just do it this color and it would be pretty, but if you think that's what I'm going to do, you don't know me at all. I don't know what to do with it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the cover. Well, I don't have any ideas for the cover yet. If you think of something, let me know. I may look in my books and see if there's a, an illustration that would work nicely that I could, or... I do have some of those little metal bits, metal pieces. I feel like there's still a lot of paint over here I could use. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of paint over there I could use. I have to like sand, I do still have my toy box from childhood. It's got like two layers, two coats of paint, two layers of paint I should say, it's more than two coats I'm sure two coats of paint between the original green and the blue that it is now, which I did in the 80s, so it's like a uh, Williamsburg blue kind of blue. So, I want this to dry quickly so that I can do stuff dry quickly. So, I just said so again. I need to put a jar here to put money in. So my husband, oh yeah, one of the freezers at the food pantry somehow got opened and it was the one with the fish. So he gets to bring that back to our house Monday so that it can go out in the trash on Tuesday. Right now it can stay in the freezer as long as nobody passes it out so that it doesn't stink up the whole place. I think we get like these big bags, I think it's like two pounds of Pollock. It doesn't have a lot of flavor, so it's not, you know, it's not horrible. See, this, this is the color I want. This, but it's a chalk paint, so it's not the same as, you know, I'm looking over there like, like my brushes aren't right next to me. All right, so this is a chalk paint. And it is, is it, it's resembling a color that's in there. So I'm not sure if I want to use that or not. It's 
tomorrow night is the food pantry. My husband will go there after work. And they've been doing it drive through style. So they just kind of bring everything out in a box and hand them their food. I'm not sure if they've been able to um, do all the paperwork they usually do, but like the USDA, I don't think is being as strict about that right now. They're still bringing our order on Fridays. I think every other Friday we get our order from the USDA. And Harris Teeter donates food each week. And I think we still get Panera each week on Sunday nights and two Wednesday nights is when we can pick it up. But the only time we can really actually have it to pass out is the Sunday night before. So I don't know what they do with it. I think they sometimes find like a family that could use it or like Wednesday nights. Streetlight Ministries does. We have Streetlight Ministries. They do a, a dinner for the working poor. So there's that. All right, this would be helpful if I had my dish so that I wouldn't, my paint wouldn't dry up so fast. But do you think I know where I put my plate? I have a plate for putting my paint on, but I don't know where it is. So my paint will just get dry on the paper faster. What do I want to do? I think I'll take this skinny-ish brush. I don't even know what this is meant for. I have this is a royal, this is a number four. I don't know what any of that means. I don't even know where I got these green ones. I think maybe my friend gave me these green ones. Or the, these, or are they the same? These, they just want to put a little bit of don't want it that thick. Oh, I'll just hit a look at a mouse. I don't want it going all the way up. Somebody is cooking some wood somewhere. This paint underneath is still wet, so I'm not getting the same effect that I might have been hoping for. I, I don't know what I was hoping for. I don't know what I'm doing. You think I know? no idea what I'm doing smelling some wood smoke all right for this I need a blower where's my this one. use this one for now oh my goodness that was already so precarious Oops. there we go now it won't take so long the thing is her let's see the person I'm making this for their dad is actually paints, like art painting, I, art type. He does like landscapes and stuff like that. So he probably doesn't quite get my art. But that's all right. He doesn't have to. Nobody has to get my art. You just have to enjoy the process. And if you end up loving what you do, that's all that matters. You will likely find other people, like-minded people, that like your stuff. But not every type of art, not every piece of art is everybody's cup of tea. And that's okay. That's alright. Alright. Is this the one I had? Nope, that's the other one. <laughs> that's alright. Guess what? We'll just... Do our thing here so that our front and back kind of go a little bit together. And we might do something else. I like when there's that um, pattern. That, well, not pattern. What's the word I want? 
texture. The canvas has a texture. So when you brush on it lightly, you get just different things happening. I like that. And I should have gone all the way up to the other color, but that's all right. We can even make this like a solid color if we wanted to. Or we can make this this blue. I don't know if I'll do any other fabric. I'll do a little bit of lace here and there, I think. I don't think she'll hate lace. I do know that I don't think I've ever seen her wear a lot of like just plain brown or plain tan or, or white. She wears a lot of colors, so I think she will appreciate that this journal has some bright colors. And I do, I'm going to bring more um, book pages to this one than I did the last ones that I made. Let's see, the pink and black journal. I was kind of trying to make it so she could use it. It's just kind of like a to-do list or reminders or gratitude journal, whatever she wanted to use it for. So there's a lot of writing space in that one and a few pockets. And for our girl, I made it so she could do whatever. Um, she could put pictures in it with her friends, movie tickets, all the things. You know I was going to end up smushing? It's what I do. You know that? The straight lines thing? It's not me. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's see. I do have some um, cream off-white. Those are khaki and linen. Or a couple other colors I have here. To play around with. Just to bring in some light. Let's see, how far over does that come? So I almost think if I do add something, I'm just going to put it halfway so this can tuck under maybe. Like have it be, yeah, that might be a good idea. Remind me that that's what I'm thinking of doing. Also, I'm getting kind of bored. So, let's do this real quick. That didn't work. That didn't do what I was hoping it would do. Where? Hmm. Let's just do this. I think this is what I was trying to do before, maybe. Don't you love that sound? What the heck, lady? Why? Why do you hate us? No, I hate you. I kind of like what randomness this is doing. It's scraping off some paint, too, which I'm liking. Alright, so my paint underneath was probably fairly dry because there's some wet paint on top. And as I'm doing this, or as I get it wet, it comes off more. Also, I can take, if I like the top or the bottom better, I can just cut off the opposite or cut out into the middle. I keep touching it. Stop touching it, lady. Oh, what else? What else do we want to do? Let's do a little bit of this. Oh, come on. I don't want to do too much. I don't like to waste it. You know. Wasting is sad. I should put, oh, well. If I have too much left over, I will grab a piece of paper, paint paper. Paint paper, yeah, that's technical time. You know what I'm trying to say, right? A piece of, well, it is paint paper, watercolor paper for some backgrounds or another piece of this canvas because this is kind of fun what it's doing 
kind of, I smush down and then I just go later. And then I smush down and then smush down. And just random places. And then, then I press down, which causes it to spread and come off some. All right, probably need to add some lighter bits, huh? This is the kind of effect I was trying to get before. Something like where you had going this way a little bit, you had it going this way, and then maybe this way, and this way, and I guess I should have done more light. What do you think? Should I stop here? And then. Where, oh where, oh where could anything be? I'm doing the paper towel and I'm using the back side which just mostly has the um, circle bits. Not, the, not this shape so much. Not that that would be a bad shape to use. But a little bit more of the canvas shape shows through. Um, let's see. Then what I was thinking about doing, I don't like right here. Not fond of right there on the bottom, but I just put the wrong color on there. And I think I'm going to want a little bit more of the, the lighter green color, but in a different way. thicker bits. Stay. Guess I'm out of paint over here. So if I lay it flatter, I can fill in some of the, I think I want a little bit of darkness on this side. Hello darkness, my old friend. I only want a little bit. And then I'll know which paint colors I use, so when it comes time to paint some bookmarks, I'll know. I'll know. I'll know what colors I used. Which apparently is not the top paint. So you get a little bit different. Although I might want a little bit of chalk paint. Is it mixed? I know I got really quiet. And you know I'll probably try some more things before I'm done. Just to see. If that's what I want or not.
think that'll line up. Yeah, doesn't matter. Probably going to be a picture there anyway. Should I go up and down or just across? Across. Across. Let's just go across. It really does sound like there's a T, even though you're not trying to say it. So I don't think people realize they're doing it when they do it. Because you can't, unless you're like get annoyed like I do, you don't really notice. I don't mean to get annoyed. Not annoyed, but. Then I'm thinking we need to bring in a little bit of a lighter color, like the linen, not the khaki, but the linen, or a little bit more of the green. Or the linen and green mixed together. Which one's linen? This one's linen. I think I have an ivory type one. Ecru. I think I have an ecru. Which could also work, but. Also, I'll be doing some stamping, but. Alright. I had, I mean, those are fabric scissors. That's why they're bright pink. Let's see. Um, any scissors, <laughs> any scissors but my fabric scissors would work out. You don't know how many pair of scissors I have, and here I am looking for a pair of scissors. It's sad. Now, I will do some um, stenciling on this at some point. And now I want to see what it will look like. And I don't want them to be squares, I don't think. I think I'd rather they be the other way. And I know I have some makeup brushes. Yes, I do. Oh, come on. Let's see how this looks. I'm not stuck. Do you like it? Here and there. I think it'd be cute. A bit of, uh, I don't know. That might be two. Sorry, right, there's going to be other layers. This is not the final layer. It's not the final countdown. Do -do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. Hmm. other layers just play around I'm too too impatient to wait for it to dry that's the thing I need to be more patient you're always in a hurry be patient be patient no need to fret or worry I don't know if that's the words or not I can't remember I think that was salty did anybody else do songs of praise in church the salty, the song book. Okay, this is the last one. Then I'm stopping. Stopping. That one looks like cloud. It's like a weird, freaky cloud. All right, I'm gonna let this dry, and in the next video, I will have a delightful day, everybody. If a